here's how we're gaining ground let's start with the rollout we should have all had vaccinations by now but we haven't because the um, attendance for the booster was down to three percent for the first two doses it was 85 percent and by the way you haven't had a booster you've had the third dose of a product that failed twice then we've got electric vehicles oh yeah the government's discounting them all so you'll buy into the narrative so everybody bought some electric vehicles now they're running them they're realizing they can't get to coventry from wolverhampton on a full charge they have to park up and charge it somewhere there aren't enough charging points they're catching fire they're not economical there's no boot space left batteries are expensive and have to be replaced three times in the life of the vehicle so guess what the price of your diesel second hand car has gone up because people aren't buying into the narrative the discounts have stopped the consumer has stopped buying the vehicle so people like ford and general motors have had to make a commitment to moving forward and continue to build internal combustion engines all the money and research they've piled into electric vehicles has failed big time there's a, a documentary on my Facebook page a quite a long one about Ford and how they had to backtrack on manufacturing electric vehicles they've used it on a few of their flagship models they haven't liked it people stuck in snowstorms there's a lot of places in America you can get stuck in a snowstorm they can't put the heaters on to keep warm because they run the battery flat and the vehicle won't move there's so many drawbacks nobody wants to think this kids mining cobalt and lithium just to make batteries so we can pretend we're green batteries that end up in landfill yeah that's right landfill just like the wind farm sales because they're made of fiberglass and they end up in landfill not very green after all more like a toxic waste hazard so people can see this now because the narrative's been unfolding for a while and people will not buy into fake news you can only fool them once and they've had the chance they missed it people have noticed that billionaires have got wealthier and millionaires have been created through the lockdown well they've watched their own small business smashed to smithereens because they couldn't even operate because it was considered too dangerous for a virus that 99 percent of people recover from and the people who die from it generally had other health conditions wrong with them so you, you can't do this to people you can't turn around to people and expect them to believe that narrative when if you do a bit of research in 2018 17 and 18 in a two-month period december and january 65,000 people died from the flu 65,000 in two months 11,000 in one week in january nobody said anything nobody locked the country down nobody was scared to go to the supermarket nobody wore a mask because it's just a fact of life it was a bad flu year and to add insult to injury when people were out and about during lockdown where did the flu go so people aren't stupid so all these things that they're pushing at us these big corporations and big government the people are actually rejecting the narrative just because the mainstream media don't tell you this doesn't mean it's not happening because if you look on social media and you can encourage your friends to start getting the news from their own research they don't even have to listen to people like me I'm one of the few that does this unpaid um, they need to start looking away from the telly because the telly isn't covering it the, the mainstream media get their money Channel 4, Channel 5, ITV get their money from advertisers and the government and um, pharmaceutical companies are the biggest advertisers some of the pharmaceutical companies are linked to the beauty product industry that's mega business and the reason that they're failing is because we aren't listening to the narrative anymore even people who don't get involved are seeing through this shallow surface story that is basically completely flawed cancer cancer patients in remission now getting aggressive cancers people getting spinal cancers they've never seen it in such numbers we all know what's going on here we all know what's happened and when cancer specialists like professor angus dalglish are begging the government to stop the rollout you've got to ask yourself why this isn't it big news and ask yourself why these things why are all the politicians forget the government the whole parliament ignoring excess deaths in working age people look at the, look at what's going on here we have been assaulted by our own side but we're not putting up with it because we're kicking back and I saw a star fall from the heaven onto the earth 
and to him was given the key of the bottomless pit.